Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And today we got another cool Transformer action figure for you guys to take a look at. Today we're going to be looking at, from Transformers the movie series, Perceptor. Now guys, just as always, before we get to the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So let's take a closer look at the box itself once again. A nice big window so you can see the figure. And you got Perceptor on the bottom on the corner. You got Transformers the movie. Really nice artwork of Perceptor right there. And you got Studio Series Perceptor 86 of 11. And along the side, once again, you got the wording Transformers with the Generations logo up in the corner. On the side, you got a closer look of the head scope of Perceptor. He is a deluxe class figure. And on the back, you got some product shots of the figure. Once again, very cool. And on the bottom, he shows you the display that he comes with inside the box. So we'll get, hopefully we'll get to take a look at that. And on the bottom, we got some Lego Mumbo Jumbo. On the side, once again, another design of Perceptor. And on the top, Transformers, the movie, bottom Lego more Mumbo Jumbo. So guys, let's go ahead, let's get him out of the box and let's take a look at this figure. All right, guys, so here he is out of the box. Let's go ahead and get a closer look of the figure. So as you can see, he is really nicely done. He's got a really nice head scope. He's got lots of detail. Reminds me so much of the Perceptor from the original cartoon series. Very nicely done here, as you can see looking really cool really amazing now i never actually owned the g1 perceptor or any other ones this is actually my very first perceptor now as you can see he has that big opening in the back there not a big deal pretty much he has very little hot open spacing as you can see on this figure i think he has it in his forearms and in the back there but for this figure it is not really that bad he looks really nice so guys, let's get into our articulation. Now you can move this out the way, as you can see there, lift it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the head. Now the head does have a little bit of weeble wobble because it is on a ball joint. It's very nicely done there. Now the arms can go all the way out to the side, as you can see here. And he does have 360 rotation at the shoulder because they are on a ball joint. And he does have 90 degrees at the elbow with some bicep rotation. And there goes a little bit of the hollowness I was talking about earlier. Now, he doesn't have any wrist rotation there. Now, let's get the arms out of the way. He does have hip rotation, as you can see here. And with the legs, let me get it up here to get the arm out the way. He can go 90 degrees at the hips. And due to his transformation, you can see that little slit right there on his thigh. That's part of his transformation there, but I'm pretty sure some people could use it as a point of articulation for stuff. But he does also have thigh rotation. He can go put his leg all the way out forward, a little bit past 90 as you can see here. And he can go all the way back once again past 90 degrees. Now at the knee, he can go past 90 degrees as you can see here, which makes it great for our, for posing up. And with the toes, you can see they go, they do go down. Hopefully, let me get it here in the camera. There you go. They can tilt the toes down, and he does have ankle tilted right there. So all in all, a very poseable figure right here. Very nicely done. I like it. And then, as you can see with the launcher on the shoulder, very nicely done. It is a really, really good figure, guys. Here is the weapon that it comes with. Once again, a solid red pistol. Nothing special about it, but once again, cool. I believe this is uh, made after the G1 style one that he comes with. Not really sure, but 
all in all, very good. This is Perceptor from Transformers the movie. So guys, let's go ahead, let's start transforming him and let's check out his other alt modes. The Transformers will return after these messages. And as the battle between the Autobots and Decepticons rages on, Megatron creates Triple Changers, the most evil Decepticons of all. But the Autobot scientist Perceptor is ready for anything. Introducing Perceptor. From a working microscope, he transforms into a robot. The Transformers. And Triple Changer Blitzwing transforms from tank to plane, and from plane to robot. Robots in the sky. Triple Changer! Autobots, stop him! The Transformers. Sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. Alright, so here is Perceptor in his alt mode, which is of a microscope. Which, not really much to it, but guys, let's go ahead and let's get a closer look at it, as you can see here. Now, I believe the G1 was somewhat of an actual working microscope. Now, this one, you can look down and see, but I don't think it does anything. Like, it doesn't adjust at all, from what I can tell. It's just supposed to mimic a, a microscope. It does it pretty good. That's pretty much how he transforms in the G1 style from what I've seen back in the day. But it is what it is. Now you can store his weapon back here. He's very simple. Now I didn't buy this guy because of his, his alt mode. I brought him because of his robot mode, but it's very cool. Now there is something I did find out about this guy. Apparently he does have an alternate alt mode so guys let's go ahead and let's take a look at that right now all right guys so as per the instruction manual this here is his alternate mode one of them now let's take a closer look it doesn't say what it is i'm assuming it's some sort of like battle mode as you can see the treads on perceptor's legs are now visible here it was something he had in the g1 that i've noticed in that toy commercial that we played earlier now, it's, I guess it's supposed to be like some sort of battle battle tank or something. Not really sure. But I thought I might share this with you guys because it is on the instructions. So, might as, well head, might as well go ahead and show it. It does look a little, a little weird, but it is what it is. Now, it doesn't show that the weapon can go there. It actually shows the weapon mounted on the side. Somewhere around here. Let me see if I can get it mounted somewhere for you guys so you guys can see. Let's see if I can get it mounted here. It is a little tricky to mount. Because if you mount it along the arm like that, it doesn't really hold in because of the magazine clip. But it does show to mount it on the side there. I like to mount it a little bit more facing forward like that. So this way it looks more realistic because you do tilt the telescope part of the microscope up as a cannon. So guys, there you go. Another mode for Perceptor, something he definitely won't be going in on my shelf. And here is a picture of the display setup that he comes with in the box. I don't really use these as they take up a lot of space on the shelf and I do have a lot of transformers. Well guys, that's where we're gonna end this video for today. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up another episode of Toy Collector Review. Now my thoughts on the Perceptor figure from the Transformers the Movie toy line. Is it worth getting? If you're a fan of that cartoon movie, yes, definitely get him. He is really cool, especially his robot mode. Now his microscope mode looks pretty nice. His alt mode of an alt mode, I call it, looks kind of weird. But it is what it is. And once again, like I always say guys... It's your toy, you display it how you see fit. Me personally, I will be displaying him in his robot mode. I think that is the coolest form he has. I do recommend picking him up. He is a cool little figure. And he's only about 20 bucks to $22, depending on where you are in the world. But guys, once again, we come to that point in the video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of this channel. Hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put out a new video. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. And guys, if you like the content that I'm putting out there, go ahead and hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
and if there's anything you guys would like to see on this channel go ahead and hit me in the comment section below and i will do my best to get it out there for you guys and if you guys would like to see more content and check out giveaways and stuff like that there is an awesome toy group on facebook called nirvana it's the nirvana toy collectors group go ahead and become a member of that group there where we do giveaways and all kinds of other prizes it is a small community but it is growing really fast and everybody on nerdvana i do appreciate you guys watching my videos thank you very much for supporting this channel once again i'm sergeant geek and i'm signing off Thank <laughs> you.